You are listening to the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast, and today the entire focus is on helping you break through one of the biggest limiting beliefs holding your business back. This is about the stuff that people don't teach you in most courses or programs. We're going to dive into the biggest lie that business owners tell themselves that hold themselves back from what they want most. And if you master what we're going to talk about today, everything in your business and your life will be so much easier. It will feel like a weight has been lifted. My name is Brad Bizjak. I'm a mindset coach and inspirational speaker. And for the last three years, I've worked with thousands of entrepreneurs and home-based business owners and help people just like you shatter the limiting beliefs and overcome self-doubt and build the confidence to create the life you truly deserve. This is the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast. And first things first, I have a tool that I mentioned on a, a couple of recent podcasts and I want to mention to you again that will help you with mindset tremendously. Have you ever noticed that anxiety or overwhelm sometimes gets in the way of taking action? I created a download for you. It's a PDF called the Mindset First Aid Kit. It's your go-to guide when you're in the dark times and you don't know how to break through. And instead of just praying that these emotions go away or hoping something comes to make it all better, you can actually make it go away in seconds. It's actually easy to get overwhelm and anxiety and fear and doubt and all those limiting emotions to go away really, really quickly. That's what the Mindset First Aid Kit is for. You can find that linked up below this video and this podcast is gonna help you uh, break through some of those things as well. But as always, if you're finding value in this, give us a rating and review. Like I love seeing your feedback and how this podcast has touched your life and what it's done for you and your family and your business. So if you feel compelled to, We'd love it if you left us a rating and review and share this on your stories on social as well. Screenshot it. People need to hear it. Okay? So if you're willing to do that, go ahead. No, uh, Don't feel any pressure to do it. But if you feel compelled to, we'd love for you to share that story. So let's get into it in the short podcast today. Question for you. Have you ever felt like success is harder for you in some way? Like other people don't get your situation or it's easier for other people. I want to share a quick story with you. Growing up, there are some pretty tough words said to me. Things that made me feel less than or like I didn't matter. And even in my adult life, I felt like I was broken and not enough and everything I did was about craving validation. It felt like something was wrong with me. Like it was almost like I needed permission to go after my big ideas and I had so much blame. I just wanted a better life where I could give my future kids the childhood that I never got to have. And I wanted to give them possibility and not have them be a slave to debt like I was. But if I'm being honest, I, I truly hated my past until I learned to switch one thing. I had this one toxic belief that held me back from everything. It felt like it was harder for me. I thought it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair that I was $92,000 in debt and my parents never saved for my college education. I saw families out there in their smiling photos and going on these families. I thought I'd never have a family like that. Or other people had all this money and they started after me and blew me out of the water. And I pretended I was happy for their success, but I was a nightmare on the inside, whispering under my breath, must be nice. And in full transparency, full transparency, I blamed people in my life for it. I tried to rationalize that it wasn't because of these people, but deep down, I blamed them. I blamed them for my bank balance. I blamed this person for my business, my student loan debt, saying mean things to me. I thought that success was harder for me and other people didn't understand my situation. And one day, I was talking to my coach and telling her about this deep feeling of anger and resentment. And she sent me a video, of course from Tony Robbins, that changed everything. And here's what Tony said. Tony was talking about his past and his relationship with his mom. And he said, you know what? If my mom were who I wanted her to be, I wouldn't be the man I'm proud to be today. He said that it hurt him really badly, but he said that he needed to find the good that came out of it. So he asked, what are your best qualities? The things you are most proud of. And how many of those qualities wouldn't be possible if that person didn't hurt you? I'm not denying that it hurt. I'm saying it was the best thing that ever happened for you. What if the worst days of your life were secretly the best days of your life in, in disguise? What if you adopt a belief today that life is always happening for you and not to you? Once you see that you're always being guided, it's easy to be grateful for the pain and the person that hurt you. So take a look at your qualities that you love the most and how many of them actually are only there because that person or that event happened. That person were who they were. And if they were any different, if that person were who you wanted them to be, you wouldn't be you. I realized in that moment 
What I resented most about my life was the thing that created the man I'm proud of today. So I made a moment, I made a promise in that moment that I would love my past even though it hurt. I made a promise to be thankful it happened. And I, I'm sure just like you realize, difficult people test you, right? And man, these people tested me too. They said really mean things to me, really hurtful words that are just were intense and should never be said to someone like that. But I had to find the beauty in it. I had to choose to appreciate this person in the moment, even though it hurt. And when I learned how to do this, the feeling of healing that came over me was one of the most profound feelings I've ever felt. When my life was no longer someone else's fault, a weight was lifted and I could take responsibility. Guess how much easier it was to build my business when I took full responsibility for my life? So easy. My business exploded. I went to multiple countries. They changed our financial lives forever. But what's amazing is that my relationship with these people, they're so much better. I stopped judging them and now I have a beautiful relationship with them and there's still trials, et cetera, and things like that. But it's better than it was. But the thing that's so beautiful is I realized my hunger, my drive, my craving for financial security, my love that I share with my wife, it all came from the contrast in those relationships those painful relationships. It was the best thing that ever happened for me. And I'm so grateful for it. And the more and more I condition the appreciation I have for these people in my life, the more beautiful memories I remember about my past that I blocked out. So please write this down. It is never too late to have an amazing past. It is never too late to have an amazing childhood. The most toxic lie you can believe about your journey is that success is harder for you. What if I told you a story? I love this story. What if I told you a story about a girl who was born when her mom was a teenager and from the ages of nine to 14, she was raped by someone she was supposed to be able to trust. And with blood still dripping down her leg, the man took her to the ice cream shop to make it all better. And then at 14 years old, this girl found out that she was pregnant with one of her own at 14. And then she gave birth at 14 years old and two weeks later, the child died. Would you define that situation as hard? That woman is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, multi-billionaire, changed millions of lives because she used the pain of her past in a different way. She used the pain of her past to serve her instead of hurt her. So if you're like a lot of my clients, you may have a deep-rooted belief that success is harder for you in some way. It doesn't need to be a big traumatic thing. It could be, I don't know enough people saying that in your network marketing business, but it's not true. It is not harder for you. That is a victim mindset because think about this. You already made it through some pretty tough stuff. You're making it through your pain, which means you're already successful or you wouldn't be listening to me right now. You're successful because of what you've been through. Can't you see that it's a blessing? You got to learn to be grateful for it because what, because you've been through some tough stuff, right? And you're still standing. That's a success. Success is not harder for you. It's possible for everyone. So write this down. Life changes the moment you put intentionality behind the meaning of your pain. That means that when you learn to love the parts of your life that you hate, you skyrocket your business and your financial results because you don't have the weight of the world holding you back. It's not someone else's or something else's fault anymore. So please understand that no matter what you've been through, no matter what experiences you've had, it does not determine your future. It doesn't matter if you've been in business for years and you haven't made a dime. It doesn't matter if you had a parent that screamed at you every day of your life. It doesn't matter if you were beaten. It doesn't matter if you were addicted to alcohol or drugs. It doesn't matter if you were a bad kid, if you went to jail. It doesn't matter if you lost a child, if you were sexually assaulted. It doesn't matter. Those things are important, but they don't dictate your future. I shouldn't say they don't matter. They matter, but they do not dictate your future. Those things that you blame are secretly the greatest gifts in disguise. And you might not see that yet. That's okay. Give me just a couple minutes and you will. But you have to understand that the past only becomes the future if you live there. So how have you used your past to limit you? Have you ever set less ambitious goals because you haven't achieved goals in the past? Have you ever toned down your activity in your business because you haven't achieved before? Have you ever looked at a relationship in your life through negative eyes because it didn't go the way you wanted it to in the beginning? So how do we break through this? Really simple. You change what the past means to you. 
Your life is made up of events and the meaning you give to each event. That is it. For example, if I open the door for you and you walk in and you're grateful and excited and thankful, why? Is it because I opened the door or because of your interpretation of what that gesture means? It's your interpretation of the gesture because you, I can open the door for you and you can be like, I can get it myself, you pig. I don't need you, right? Like he's trying to hit on me, right? That's why you might make that your meaning. But did the event ever change? No, you changed the meaning you gave it in the moment. Write this down. Life changes the moment you put intentionality behind the meaning of your pain. Life changes the moment you put intentionality behind the meaning of your pain. If you intentionally choose a meaning that leads to a better life, you win life. That's what you got to do. You got to learn to find a meaning that empowers you to act. I change what my issues meant to me. Whatever you're facing, you got to change what they mean to you too. There's something there that's a blessing in your life because of it. Every year, I work with a handful of people one-on-one. And two years ago in January... I was working with a woman who was sexually assaulted by multiple people close to her when she was a little girl. And the meaning she gave to that event was, I'm worth nothing. And how do you think her life panned out? Right? Ended up getting into a toxic relationship. Kid was addicted to drugs. Really, really, really tough stuff. Self-confidence destroyed. And I teach a really unique process in Appreciation Academy that helps you shift the meaning of your painful parts of your past. And I did this with her. And she came out of it saying... You know what, Brad? If I were to choose a new meaning, it made me so strong in a way that I know I can survive anything. It gives me so much awareness of other people's intentions, and it gives me so much love and compassion for other people, especially women who have been through the same thing, and I'm going to dedicate my life to making sure they break through that pain way faster than I ever did. Holy crap. Talk about a meaning change, right? Did her life change a little or massively? Massively it changed massively, but the event still happened. She was still assaulted. That didn't change. She changed the meaning of it. So you don't control what happened. You can't go back and change it, but you do control what it means to you. So take a look at the story I shared. If I wasn't $92,000 in debt when I got out of college, there's no way I would have been hungry for freedom if my parents didn't scream at each other and yell and eventually get divorced. I wouldn't be nearly as loving of a husband as I am to my wife. If love wasn't used as a weapon against me in certain times of my life, I wouldn't have so much empathy to where I could see through what someone's going through a mile away and pierce their freaking soul with the problem they're saying and actually give them the solution they need instead of what they think they need. It wouldn't be possible if love wasn't used against me or withheld from me. If my business didn't fail, I wouldn't have learned what I needed to learn to create freedom in my life. So take an analysis. What did your past create that's incredible? Because... Those issues, those challenges, they're the best thing that ever happened to you. Did it hurt? Absolutely. Is it still painful? Probably, but it wasn't wrong. The person that hurt you, the event that hurt you, it played the role it was meant to play. That person played the role they were meant to play. It wasn't wrong. If they were any different, you wouldn't be you. You control the meaning of it. That's on you. If you view your past that way, you can use it to change your future instead of staying stuck there. Because life will continue to try to teach you these lessons until you adopt it. So you got to rewrite the narrative of your life story. And once you do, you find emotional freedom. And once you find emotional freedom, success becomes easy. It becomes easy because you feel like you don't have anything to prove. There's nothing holding you back anymore. When you flip that switch, not just logically, but emotionally in your nervous system, in your heart, the game changes forever. You'll never go back. Because all of a sudden you see how freeing it feels on the other side. So my point of all of this, of everything I have shared with you today, is that success is not harder for you. It was a gift. Success is an even playing field. It's so simple. It is not harder for you. Everything you have been through is a gift. And it's given to people. Success is given to people that learn to appreciate their life, including their past pain. And isn't that easy? Isn't that so much simpler? So I hope you took a lot away from this episode today and that you use this, not just as something you hear just listening in your ears on a podcast, but you actually apply it to your life. Look at it and say, okay, what are my best qualities and how many of them came to my life because of that person that I, that I blame? What if instead I thanked them for my life instead of blaming them for my life? What if I thank them 
for my past instead of blaming them for my past. So I hope that served you. Don't forget to download the Mindset First Aid Kit PDF. When you're, when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxiety or angry or fearful or stressed, it's so hard to get back on track. But if you know how to break through those emotions in seconds and not see them as a bad thing and no longer resist having them, all of a sudden the limiting emotions go away so much faster. You don't need a week or two to get back on track. You bounce back in seconds or minutes and you get back to building your legacy and staying consistent in your business. That's what the Mindset First Aid Kit is for. It is all linked up below this podcast. And as always, if you are finding value in this, give us a rating and review. Love your feedback. I'd love your feedback on this podcast. Would love to see what you think of it, see how we can improve. Would love your your rating and review on here just to share with other people how this has touched you. So if you feel compelled to, love it if you left us a rating and review on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you're listening. And share this on your stories. Screenshot it. Share it on Instagram stories and your social, whatever it is. Let's get more people to hear this. The more people we serve, the more people's lives change. So I hope this helped you today. My name is Brad Vishjak. Go out there today and every day and live your life with a genuine smile on your face. You're only one mindset shift away from doing so. I'll see you next week.